Chapter 49 Listen to me, all of you in far-off lands. The Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb he called me by name. He made my words of judgment as sharp as a sword. He has hidden me in the shadow of his hand. I am like a sharp arrow in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant Israel, and you will bring me glory. I replied, But my work all seems so useless. I have spent my strength for nothing and to no purpose at all. Yet I leave it all in the Lord's hand. I will trust God for my reward. And now the Lord speaks, He who formed me in my mother's womb to be his servant, who commissioned me to bring his people of Israel back to him. The Lord has honored me, and my God has given me strength. He says, You will do more than restore the people of Israel to me. I will make you a light to the Gentiles, and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord, the Redeemer and Holy One of Israel, says to the one who is despised and rejected by a nation, to the one who is servant of rulers, Kings will stand at attention when you pass by. Princes will bow low because the Lord has chosen you. He, the faithful Lord, the Holy One of Israel, chooses you. This is what the Lord says, At just the right time I will respond to you. On the day of salvation I will help you. I will give you as a token and pledge to Israel. This will prove that I will re-establish the land of Israel and reassign it to its own people again. Through you I am saying to the prisoners of darkness, Come out, I am giving you your freedom. They will be my sheep, grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare. They will neither hunger nor thirst. The searing sun and scorching desert winds will not reach them any more. For the Lord, in his mercy, will lead them beside cool waters. And I will make my mountains into level paths for them. The highways will be raised above the valleys. See, my people will return from far away, from lands to the north and west, and from as far south as Egypt. Sing for joy, O heavens! Rejoice, O earth! Burst into song, O mountains! For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on them in their sorrow. Yet Jerusalem says, The Lord has deserted us, the Lord has forgotten us. Never. Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for a child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. See, I have written your name on my hand. Ever before me is a picture of Jerusalem's walls and ruins, Soon your descendants will come back, and all who are trying to destroy you will go away. Look and see, for all your children will come back to you. As surely as I live, says the Lord, they will be like jewels or bridal ornaments for you to display. Even the most desolate parts of your abandoned land will soon be crowded with your people. Your enemies who enslaved you will be far away. The generations born in exile will return and say, We need more room. It's crowded here. Then you will think to yourself, Who has given me all these descendants? For most of my children were killed, and the rest were carried away into exile. I was left here all alone. Who bore these children? Who raised them for me? This is what the Sovereign Lord says. See, I will give a signal to the godless nations. They will carry your little sons back to you in their arms. They will bring your daughters on their shoulders. Kings and queens will serve you. They will care for all your needs. They will bow to the earth before you and lick the dust from your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me will never be put to shame. Who can snatch the plunder of war from the hands of a warrior? Who can demand that a tyrant let his captives go? But the Lord says, The captives of warriors will be released, and the plunder of tyrants will be retrieved. For I will fight those who fight you, and I will save your children. I will feed your enemies with their own flesh. They will be drunk with rivers of their own blood. All the world will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel.'